So today I'll be showing you how to install Windows XP onto your MacBook using Boot Camp. First off, you need one a Mac book, MacBook, MacBook, one the installation CD for the MacBook like this. MacBook installation CD partition and one Windows XP or Vista. What I I used is a e machine operating system with well Win Microsoft Windows Vista Home Premium 32 bit CD and or Windows XP, copy of it, and oh, a Dell Windows XP Home Edition. This is this one's professional. This one's XP. Okay, so first of all, go to Finder, go to YouTube Applications, Util Utilities. Then boot camp assistant. Press continue. Now I can't do it because I already installed Windows XP on my computer, so I'm just gonna tell you. So you're gonna create or create a partition. You can use FAT32 or NTFS, whichever you like. Install it and. And do not press start Windows installer unless you have an actual copy of Windows XP or a copy of Windows XP which you burned from ISO image. Okay. So I'm going to quit. So I'm gonna I see that that's my Windows XP. I'm gonna try I'm gonna show you how to install uh, Windows Vista. One second, please. Wait for a few minutes until it starts. Starts up and. Okay, so there we go. Windows Vista, it doesn't say it, so go to restart it. Restart. <coughs> okay, once it restarted, hold down the option key like this. So, take it down until this shows see it's loading windows macintosh hd forget about that that's already installed so go to the one that says windows and press enter or click on it and then you install it like that it's more simpler you don't need to do that it's gonna load itself if it doesn't load, you have to re try restarting, try it, try it again for a few, few times until it works. Should that's what I did in my MacBook. So now it's loading.
Oh, and remember to format if you're using Windows Vista and change and use it to format into the partition you use for boot camp and about it and then inst install the MacBook installation desk first number one Windows Vista text press install now press custom since you're not actually upgrading it custom advanced and it should be this one, bootcamp, which I it's already partitioned. I put 32 gigabytes of my, as mine. And you can do five options, and then you have to format it. And then it should load and everything. So I have to shut mine down because I'm not really gonna do it. you pick you can pick fat 32 or NTFS you have to choose one of those you can't pick the one that says that you choose because it won't work so, a few minutes 